Thanks for watching. What I thought we'd do today is do a wee bit of the synth, using the Godan uh, and using it along with the Roland. And uh, somebody kindly asked me about it to show them a wee bit more, show them exactly what I do. And it's the only time I really use the synth, and I use it very, very rarely, especially when I'm actually playing a gig or something like that, although it can be useful for solo gigs. But I have the time of my life in my wee studio, and that's where you can really have a lot of fun. But basically how I've got mine set up is I'm using a multi-pin plug straight from the Gordan into the Roland GR20. Again, all my stuff's quite early. I got one of the first uh, uh, multi acts so mine's is beautifully played in. And it's the same with the synth. I grabbed these when they came out. So this is quite an early one, the GR20. And all I've done with this is regards setting. I've literally just turned the button, control and hold it says strings, uh, and I used the second position. And that's it. The rest of the gizmos that's on elite set of verb, chorus, delay, attack and everything. And as usual, I've set them just a wee bit above the 12 o'clock figure. And that's all I've done. And it's given me this kind of sound here. And if you refer back to the go down, as you remember, the slider nearest you is your volume, as a guitar's volume. The slider's furthest away from you is the synth. So again, you can adjust this all the time. I know I could probably get a better sound out to go down today. All I've done is set everything right in the middle, just so you know where I am, and it gives you a good starting point. Again, as I keep saying, it's one thing setting your guitar up in your wee studio or your room, and then if you're going out to play a solo gig in quite a fair size hall, this is when this wee graphic equaliser really comes into so and you're compensating all the time. And I told you they want to keep your eye on it's your treble slider, that's the one you're going to use more than anything else. Anyhow, where the synth really comes into effect, like everything else, it's a gimmick, you don't want to do it too much. It can actually work out quite well in recordings, if you were recording a single line melody note, because then you could use all the different things that are available on the synth. The sitar one's amazing. But I say, I'm just going to use the strings. And I would maybe use it, if I was playing all night, I'd maybe use it for two tunes, three at the very most, you know. Especially towards the end when the audience is going to be a bit fed up. But it's great fun to play on your own. You can have the time of your life playing tunes that you know really well. And then when you put the strings on to it, it really makes them sound a lot better and you can have a great time. Where it comes on to its own is when you're playing single notes, right? And then if you're playing at least a slow melody or, or things like that, it makes the chords last a lot longer. So it really gives a lovely effect. And I'll try and give you an idea. Again, I've got this set quite high. I wouldn't have the synth effect as high as this. But it's just to give you a good idea of what it sounds like. gives you the idea that the melody line, just a simple melody line with a bit of synth can really play well. See what I mean? You get the idea that when you're playing chords, the strings really carry it forward. Uh, say for example, I'll play a wee bit of Django.
say long Langham's chords really, really work out well. Sometimes a tune that you think will work won't work, and vice versa. Uh, but it really can be useful. Uh, and as I say, if nothing else, you can have great fun playing it. Just let me go over again what I've done. I've put the strings on, setting to. I've shoved everything about two o'clock. Again, you can adjust that yourself. Uh, and I put everything in a straight line here. I'm actually using a wee bit too much synth. Again, it's to give you the effect. I could, I could just pull the synth back a wee bit here. So again, as I say, it works quite well in slower melodies. Say, for example. <laughs> carries the chords quite well. Another one that'd be quite good at would be like the Zenobides Sati. Although well, that's getting a wee bit muddy. Uh, Cavatina. tunes but you get a sort of idea tunes where it relates a chord uh, you can maintain it as I say you can have a nice effect and you can sort of tune it in a wee bit more I've got mine dragging too much again just to give the effect although sometimes as I said it doesn't really work with the uh, tunes that are a faster tempo sometimes it's worth a wee shot <laughs> Anyway, things like that you can try. Uh, it takes a lot of experimentation and again, when you're doing a gig, you don't want to play it, use it for every number. Uh, but it really, it really can add a, an effect, especially if you're on your own. It'd be quite good if you're accompanying a singer, but uh, you know, like so. something for you to have food for thought and again so just to sum up plug it in put the synth on just press it to set it at strings I use the second setting uh, shove every noise controls round about 12 o'clock to 2 o'clock and start with just a straight line on the guitar and take it from there so I hope that's been a wee bit informative you can get a lot better sound as I say I was just trying to exaggerate things a little bit so you can blend it down a wee bit 
So anyway, thanks very much for watching and I'll have much more for you next time. So bye for now.